guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because this is my very first vlog on my channel here. And as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I am going to be going camping. Now, although this is not a campsite, we are still in my house. We're getting ready to go camping right now. And I figured that it would be a good opportunity for me to vlog my trip, show you guys what we're going to be eating, what we're bringing up with us. Um, just so in case, you know, anybody who hasn't gone camping before and um, are like curious about, you know, what they should bring, you can use this as an example. Now, this is my third time going camping. I did go for the first time last year with a friend of mine and we're going to the same place. It's called Shaper Lake. Um, the only difference is that um, last time when we went, it was in the mid of summer, like it was in August. So midsummer, everything was really hot, really, you know, but the weather was still nice because we were by the lake and so it wasn't as hot. The week that we're going is the last week that um, they're allowing camping at that campground. So comparing the weather from where we're at right now to where we're going to be going, um, the temperature is pretty different. And so I really do plan on bringing um, a lot of jackets, pants, um, gloves, maybe even a beanie and uh, some thermals to keep warm because I'm just, I just want to prepare for the coldest you know that's that's my main concern right now but i am dressed right now because i am getting ready to film a couple videos for you guys today by the time this video is up those videos would have been already posted and you know hopefully you guys have enjoyed them but i am gonna go ahead and get ready right now i'm gonna have to get a really good thumbnail because this makeup look i love it though <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and start filming and we can start packing all my clothes here. Okay, so got that there. The clothes that I'm gonna be wearing on top here. And so now that we're done, I'm gonna wash my hair so that way it's, she's braided and out the way when we go camping and I don't have to worry about it. See you guys in the morning. Okay, so we have officially packed up the van. We it's we started at three, not three. We started at six o'clock. It's now nine o'clock, and now we're officially ready to head out. I got my burrito here, so we're not leaving hungry. about 10 minutes away and I'm ready to put my window here and it's super cold and my mom she just said it's already um, 60 degrees out right now and it's already chilly <laughs> Um, we got here around 6 o'clock and I got an audition so I had to film that really quickly in the middle of the forest so it was a little chaotic but it was okay we made it work even when I was filming that the sun was going down and so after I filmed that I had to quickly come over here help set up everything I wanted to get a like footage of me filming but because you know we're losing daylight I had to quickly go ahead and set up our 58 degrees right now and it isn't too bad um, you know, having a jacket on, but I know I saw at 7 o'clock in the morning it's going to be in the 50s. So that is when it's going to get really cold. And so what I did is I put a mask, like a face mask, in my backpack. So that way when I go to bed, I can put that on my face so that my face doesn't get too cold. Probably going to sleep in my beanie and my jacket here. And, um, yeah. Yep, we're just making do right now. So I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye.
Okay, good morning everybody. It is currently 8.30 in the morning right now. Um, I'm up and I'm getting ready to go forage for some wood here in the forest here. That's why I have my bag here. And in this bag I do have a stick and some bear spray just to be safe. Um, so it got really cold last night and so um, and it's still pretty cold this morning. I have three long sleeves on, my jacket and two pairs of leggings on. And you know I can still feel the chill a bit. And so I think the warmest it's going to be today is about 71 degrees. And the last night it was in it was about 51 degrees when we were sleeping. And we all even woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning just because we were just so cold. And we got up. I mean, it's not like we didn't prepare for this. But I think, you know, sleeping on, on the floor and just tossing and turning. You wake up. When one person wakes up in the tent, everybody wakes up. You know what I'm saying? And my dad, he had to get up to use the restroom. And so we all kind of woke up and used that time to go use the restroom. Uh, so we were all up together and then we went back to sleep. Um, but, so I'm going to go ahead, find some wood, and then I'm going to go back down to camp. And I'll show you guys uh, our setup. So camp is back down that way. So I just got to remember. But, into the forest. And I'm not going to risk it just for a video. Just so y'all know. I ain't going on that. Okay? If you guys thought I was going to go far deep into the woods, no. Nah, nah. I'm going at the very baseline. I might see over this ledge here, but as you can see here, it's quite dense. Okay, and I just gotta find some decent pieces of wood I can carry back with me. If oh wow, look at this! If I could, what a find, man! And it's broken down into pieces. Oh yeah, I'm bringing this. So, our setup. So this here is our tent. It fits about eight people. <laughs> it's REI Coop Kingdom 8. So eight is how many people can sleep. Um, I'll take you guys inside there later on tonight. That garage, but there's a oh yeah, there is a garage that this little part of plop that was thrown over here. Um, we did that because there's another part to this that we didn't bring, but it's a garage. It has a living room, sleeping quarters, and the garage. Yes. And, um, but we only really needed the main cabin, I guess you could say, so that's the only reason why we brought it. Okay, and so there's that. And then here, we have two of these pop-up pods. And what pe most people don't know is that this could be a changing room, but what I make it into is my own personal bathroom. Now, when I first brought this out the first time I went camping, a lot of people laughed at me, but you know what? I was comfortable because you know what late at night in the middle of the woods and if you have to go to the bathroom you have to walk all the way down over there to the outhouse which is just a ditch in the in the in the ground nobody wants to do that so I brought here my trusty handy dandy papa pod here and this invest investment was so great my mom even got herself one so now we're going potty in style. <laughs> so this here is our gazelle tent. We're going to be putting it up a bit later. And think of it more as like a gazebo. Because this is what we're going to use to store our food. And we're going to go ahead and put a table in there. Put our chairs in there. So that way we have a place to eat when we eat dinner. And the only reason why we haven't put it up yet is because last night there were some ants. And um, my dad is going to take the motorcycle down to the store to go ahead and find something that we can ward the ants off with. So we can make a nice little perimeter here and then this but this essentially is where we're going to set it up okay so the plan is right now is we're going to go ahead and i'm going to enjoy my coffee we're all going to enjoy our coffee uh, we're going to put the tent up later uh start making breakfast and then but until we do that i'm going to go ahead and get some homework done okay so it is almost noon and my parents have already gone up and set up the gazelle giselle um, tent so this is where we're going to be eating we're going to put our tables in here I mean not the tables the chairs in here and this is where we're going to eat at night so we're not bothered by all the bugs okay and it's super nice super spacious we love it okay so we're having chicken salad she made this by boiling the chicken 
And then chop me up with lettuce. Garlic, onion. Oh, yeah, you got to season it. You got to put garlic, onion, and things bouillon. like Yeah, chicken bouillon. Um, so, so things that you like to season your chicken with if you're making chicken soup and you want to save that broth because you're going to mix it in with the vegetables just to add some moisture. And then you throw in your chopped lettuce. My sister said put um, romaine lettuce, leafy lettuce, and iceberg to make it crunchy. Oof, we got the last bit of daylight here. It is already 6.30. It's only 6.30 and it's already getting this dark. Um, so today was a beautiful, long, long day. And that's just kind of how it is when you come camping. You know, you don't have the same comforts that you have when you're at home, you know? You don't have your computers, you don't have, you know, television, you don't have your local grocery stores to go shopping at. Um, you know, you just gotta find a ways to occupy your time. And so like for today, I, you know, went behind here and, you know, I explored the woods. I went back up here and I, you know, forged for some wood. And I've gone on like 10 walks today. You know, you just get to see a whole lot of different sceneries when you're up here. And I just, that's for me personally, that just, you know, I like to do that kind of thing. But, you know, today I, you know, explored a lot. I read my book for a couple hours and yes, a couple hours. You know, I did some homework while I was out here. Um, and then I took a nap, which is always great on vacation. Took some naps, and then I went ahead, and we just, we started another fire, and we had some dinner. Not dinner, I guess it was like a light, light dinner, I guess you could say, because we were still pretty full from what we ate earlier. And, um, now we are getting ready to, uh, retire for the evening. And I think the people that were staying with us next door actually packed up camp and left. So this should be exciting. So now we are the only people in our, in this whole area here, we are now the only people. And a little bit further down. We still have, I think, one more, one family that's a little further up than us. But other than that, we should have a really quiet night. And, um, you know, tonight is gonna be great because, you know, it's a clear sky, as you guys can see. It's a clear sky. There is a crescent moon over here. Y'all know if you guys can see it, but, Last night, all we did for hours was just, um, sorry, all we did last night was stargaze. And it was just so beautiful. We saw shooting stars. We saw even some satellites that I think are aliens, <laughs> just to make things fun. You know, we were like, oh, look, it's an alien. Who's, oh, it could be. Who knows? We don't know. But anyways, so we were just like watching the stars. And because like literally the sky is, I told, like, as you guys can see, is open. You know, no trees really blocking our way. You know, all we do is just stargaze for like three hours before bed. And so it's just really great. And um, yeah, we're gonna make ourselves some hot uh, chocolate and just relax by the camp until bed. And that's all you gotta do when you come camping. Just enjoy your time, relax, take in the scenery, breathe in the fresh air, and just rejuvenate in nature. So with that, have a good night, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's what, about noon right now, right? Around there. I went up this morning. 12.43. Okay, yep. 12, okay, almost 1 o'clock. I went up this morning, got some more wood, brought it back down. When I came back down, I enjoyed my coffee. We ate a little bit of breakfast. I got changed because it started getting really hot out. And now I'm just sitting here, enjoying the fire, drinking my, my iced tea, gonna read my book again. And that's just the life. <laughs> that's just the life I'm living right now. Smelling the wood, looking at the trees. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Literally, we're the only people in this, like, there's two lots, lots open over this on way. Each side. And two lots open over this way. There's nobody behind us. There's bugs us. on your chest. Huh? There's bugs? Yeah, the only thing that is like kind of we're struggling with is this like we have bugs that love to eat the burnt wood. I don't know how that's possible, but 
they like to eat the burnt wood and so every time we start a fire they like get attracted to it and so they come and swarm so this is like the last fire that we started from this morning but once this wood goes out we'll let it go out for the rest of the day and then when it starts getting cold like around 6 30 we'll start again and, and uh, put the fire back on because once it got colder all the bugs went away so that was a nice part of it so just gonna relax so I just came up into the forest just to take some photos of my pretty dress. So I'm going to head back down the mountains and take some photos behind me, behind our, our camp. I'll go this way, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go behind my campground and cause it's a lot of more safer dense forest than this. And um, Wait for the tortilla to be um, brownish, mm -hmm. and that's the side that I'm gonna put the the, the egg, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna recook it after the the chorizo is in there. Now she's going to make a taco. I'm to tortilla, I'm to plato. Okay. Bread. Mmm. Thank you, Mama. I'm gonna have more flour. This is number 20. This is what we mm -hmm. had last time, right? Yeah, this is where we came last time. So I kind of like 20 and 23. Mm -hmm. But as you guys can see, we are the only ones. That's our camp back there. They're the only ones On in our side. specific lot. And so I guess we had another set of people here yesterday, but I guess they left. So it is just us. We're walking down to the lake right now, me and my mom has an early morning walk after breakfast. Wow. Wow, so cute. Look at that tail. Where do we go from here? We're gonna go straight down this way. This is where I took a photo on the rock on the stuff. The temperature changes. Oh, it's pretty. Let's 
Oh, they're perfect. We just went up a hill. Now she's carrying a 40 pound wood. Let it roll. Oh, break. Break time. Are you sure you want to help you, love? Okay. She carried that all the way from the lake to here. That thing is heavy. It's heavy. Look at her. She's sweating. Look. This is Contessa. She just picked up a wood because it looked pretty. Get your toes in the way. Oh. She, okay. needs, she needs strength. Hold on, no, no, no. Three tries, right? Yeah. Mama, you gotta rise that a little bit higher. You hit right in the center of it. There, you should get the hammer. And no, back. one more time. Right on. Yes, so. No. Are you tired? Mm. You think it's gonna open more? Or do you wanna do the axe? Now this was my first time using an axe. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Right. Anyways, let's let my dad do it because he he can do a better job than I can. Wow. Tomatoes, we have cucumber, some chilies, and some purple onion that's over there. And we're gonna eat them with tostadas. And yep, so like I'm saying, when you go camping, you wanna have things that are really quick and easy. Yep. And you wanna- Wash everything, prep everything at home. Yeah, prep everything So you don't have to be dealing with water that you don't know where it's coming from. Exactly. Cause there's a there's a pipe here that, that gives water, but we've been just using it just to wash dishes and just- and wash uh, our hands. And washing our hands. But I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's safe to, you know, to rinse your, your vegetables and stuff like that if you wanted to but we just just to be safe you know we just rinse everything off with uh, drinking water just to be safe so um yep so we're just gonna chop up all the vegetables and go ahead and then now she's gonna go ahead and cut up the cucumber yep, that's what happened it got frozen Okay, now she's gonna be cutting some chilies. Tell me what. Serrano and chile de arbol. Okay, serrano and ch uh, chile de arbol. Oh. Pre washed cilantro. I'm gonna cut these roots because I don't like them. Okay. This is how I cut my fine onion. And then I'm gonna chop it. Frozen, I can feel it. Okay, now we're gonna. She's gonna start shredding up the crab meat. Yeah, still frozen a little bit. It's like I smell fish. He's like, I've never smelled that before. Sam, look at him. It comes from the lake. It comes from Shaber Lake. <laughs> okay, so she just. She's just added the crab meat, and so now she's gonna go mixy, 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 mix. A handy dandy lime squeezer here, and we're gonna. I know we're camping, but we have to bring our stuff from home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she just mixed it. Now she's gonna add poquito sal, a little salt. Albert, look at him. Look, Albertsons. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he said Albertsons. <laughs> he smells your divine cooking. Now, 
on the third walk of the day. This time we're going down to Lake of Death. Disturbing y'all's bees, I'm sorry. Huh? Mm -hmm. A snake? <gasps> Ooh. Ah, yes, the last fire of the night. We're getting ready. This is the wood that I brought up this morning uh, that I, I holed up the mountain with. Okay, the highlight of camping. Fire, chocolate, marshmallows, and crackers. Peace here. Put it on said cracker. And this is where the magic happens. Okay? You're gonna get doughy goodness. Okay? Marshmallowy goodness. I don't know how this stick's gonna bode in the fire, but. melting off the stick for some reason. I don't want that to happen. But we're going to quickly grab our chocolate and that. Boom. Bam. Okay. Put that there. Grab hamburger. <laughs> okay. Squish it down here. Boom. Delicious. Okay. Mom, you want us more? Yeah. Anyways, guys, that is our wrap on this tapping trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Boop.